Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Chris. Today's video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on Miley Cyrus no longer being vegan. So she was just on the Joe Rogan podcast and she talks a little bit about how she's not vegan anymore and some of the reasons why. So I just kinda wanna go over that with you guys. If you guys don't know Miley Cyrus, then you're living under a rock. Miley Cyrus is one of the biggest celebrities out there and she has been promoting a vegan lifestyle for the last few years. Uh, up till probably about when uh, her and uh, Liam broke up and I never saw any more uh, posts by her promoting veganism. So uh, it was in my thoughts that perhaps she was no longer vegan. But we just got some clarification on that straight from her on the Joe Rogan podcast. So let's pull up some of that footage and see what she has to say. I like looking at my brain and going, okay, listen, like someone cut my brakes, right, on my brain. And I have to take all the things, omega, I, I've been was vegan for a very long time and I've had to introduce fish and omegas into my life because my brain wasn't functioning properly. Mm. That's her explanation right there. She says that her brain wasn't functioning properly, so she needed to introduce some omegas and fish. Uh, you can also hear Joe kind of, mm, could you have gone another way to do that? I think even Joe knows the answer to that. So there, are, just right off the bat, there's uh, several vegan things that you can eat that will give you your omegas. But let's see what else she has to say before we go over that. Um, and Don't tell that to the vegans. They'll come for you. That's They're going to come for me, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm that's okay if they come for me. So the way that I interpreted this was, again, she's very, very famous. She's one of the, the, the top celebrities out there today. And uh, she's got millions of people that, that love her and follow her. So if she loses some vegans to her, it's it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, at least that's the way I took it. To people coming for me, and it's going to be that I come out. Salary. No, I listen. If I I give homes, I have twenty two animals on my farm in Nashville. I've got twenty two in my house in Calabasas. Like I'm doing what I need to do for the animals. Okay. okay. That's great that you're you have a bunch of animals and stuff, uh, Miley. But uh, you know, eating animals just. It, it's not required. It's not necessary. It's like, can you justify saving some animals if you're eating other animals? That's, that's the way I look at it. Okay. But when it comes to my brain, you're not vegan. No. You can't be vegan and living this kind of and being this quick. But sure you can. Some people can. I cannot because it was really giving. I was what having. A so I like how she says that you can't be vegan and be able to think this quick. And then she catches herself real quick. It's almost like she's not as sharp eating. Fish. So she catches herself right there saying like, of, of course you can. Some people can't. She knows that you can. She knows that that's true. But she's saying, I can't. So not everybody can. So let's see what she has to say about that. Good for your brain. I feel that I'm much... Slowed you down. Now I'm so much sharper than I was. Mm. And I think that I was at one point pretty malnutritioned. Like I remember going to... Um, Glastonbury and that was a show that I loved I loved my performance but I was running on empty mm. like I was on but I was you, on were you, empty. can I ask you were you doing a vegan diet like meticulous the strictest you've were you ever doing it, but were you doing intelligently like I did all my supplements the right way I and... do all my protein drinks mm -hmm. I've watched every bodybuilders YouTube well so obviously she wasn't doing all the right supplementation Joe asks a good question he's like well, did you do it intelligently because I mean you can survive and eat food without getting the right nutrients and maybe that was why she was on empty but maybe she wasn't eating the right things and it sounds to be like that's you for omegas you can like chia seeds flax seeds um walnuts there's uh a gal um i think spirulina some algae the ala omegas i believe come primarily from plants and your body turns that into the dha and the EPA. So she definitely had some options out there and it sounds like she didn't really take, I mean, there's so many vegan doctors out there and Miley's a superstar. She could have easily turned to a vegan doctor and said, hey, this is how I feel. Can you help me out here? And I'm sure she could have got the help that she needed. But so often you see people that promoted the vegan lifestyle go over to fish and eggs and they think it's the cure-all and you could find the nutrients you need in fish but you can also find them in plant sources and the plant sources don't have the other toxins that you're going to find in fish either so uh. 
YouTube about how they still you can't pay attention to those train. guys. Train. That's what I'm saying. All of yeah. a sudden, I'm like vegan <laughs> bodybuilder guys. They're almost all on steroids. It's celery and like, why are my thighs like f***ing huge? Those like, vegan <laughs> bodybuilder guys. They're almost all on steroids. It's 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 yeah, it's I'm fake. not on steroids. Well, they I mean, um, uh, and they're you know they're different bodies too. Some people I have good friends that are vegan and they they're fine on it. Mm-hmm. My friend John Joseph, he's been the See, vegan for like 30 years. That's he's why fine I think Nate it. Diaz, I was stoked, was yes. a vegetarian. He's not, yeah, vegetarian. Uh, no, he's at one fish. point. Or so a pescatarian. He, yeah, that fish. seems that what I So I'm glad they cleared that up because I always wondered about Nate Diaz. Uh, he, he promoted veganism too. Um, but I guess he's a, a pescatarian, eats fish. Like they to do. Fish. Yeah. That's I, where I'm at. There's a lot of people that function really well with that. But yeah. some people, fun- it's everybody's different. You know, we all have different ancestors. And our exactly. ancestors come from different parts of the world. And, you know, I don't know if the blood type thing is accurate, but some people really believe that. So this is another thing that I like about seeing the brain is I try to eat from my brain type and not my blood type. Your brain necessarily. Type. My brain type. So my brain type. I really need breaks on my brain because I did, I did not have that where I in my new song. It says I can't bite the. De- OK, so she goes on here telling some stories about her. She had a head injury when she was little. And um, but anyway, so she so her main thing was her cognitive ability. So why is this dangerous and why am I even doing a video on this? Well, because Miley, again, is a huge celebrity. I mean, so much on, on a bigger level than any, um, you know, vegan influencer so Miley is influencing millions and millions of impressionable people and there's quite a few people that went vegan when Miley talked about veganism all the time a few years ago she was talking about veganism she was promoting veganism you know that was really cool to see somebody like her doing that now she's trying to say that she had problems with her cognitive ability being able to think like that and uh, saying that she can't do it without eating fish and what that translates to is is omegas. Let me just bring up uh, an article on omega. So this is I so I just a, a quick Google search right here. I brought up from the uh, it's omega three fatty acids. It's from the National Institute of Health, uh, a government site. So basically, it says what are omega three fatty acids? Uh, they are they're found in foods such as fish and flaxseed and dietary supplements uh, such as fish oil. The three main omega-3 fatty acids are the ALA, the EPA, and the DHA. And the ALA is found mainly in plant oils such as flaxseed, soybean, and canola oils. And the DHA and the EPA are found in fish and other seafood. Now the ALA is the essential fatty acid, uh, meaning that your body can't make it on its own. So you get that from the, uh, the plant version. And uh, where do you think that the fish get it in the first place? The fish eat the, the seaweed, the algae, and then bigger fish eat the littler fish and on and on. And then you're kind of getting a recycled omega-3 from the fish who got it through the plants in the first place. So it goes on to say that getting uh, EPA and DHA from foods and dietary supplements, if you take them, is the only practical way to increase levels of these omega-3 fatty acids in your body. Uh, The omega-3s are important components of the membranes that surround each cell in your body. The DHA levels are especially high in retina for your eye, brain, and stem cells. Omega-3s are important components of the membranes that surround each cell in your body. The DHA levels are especially high in retina for eye, brain, and sperm cells. Omega-3s also provide calories to give your body energy and have many functions in your heart blood vessels, lungs, immune system, and endocrine system. So they really do a lot. You really do need them, and you really need to make sure that your, uh, that your levels are good, but there's, there's ways to get that without eating fish. And it also goes to say how to get an adequate amount of your omega-3s. And uh, you do that through a variety of different foods. Uh, you know, obviously it says, you know, the fish and the seafood, but it also says nuts and seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts. It's a great source. Uh, plant oils, the flaxseed oil, soybean oil, canola oil. And then also getting it through fortified foods. We'll say minus the, uh, the meat and dairy there. We have juices, we have uh, plant milks, and even uh, some baby formulas. So there's plenty of ways to get your omega-3s and be completely healthy. Now, as far as the supplements go, you can get a vegan source that comes from a gal oil, which is from algae. And that's where most uh, fish get theirs in the first place. 
And then uh, if you want to know if you're getting enough, it says most people in the United States uh, get enough ALA from their foods, and then their body makes the EPA and the DHA. Uh, recommended amounts um, have not been established. And then there's a variety of different effects it can have on you if you have a deficiency, some Alzheimer's, cancers, age-related uh, macular degeneration. It's definitely uh, something that you want to take seriously and make sure you have enough of. If for any reason you don't think you're getting enough, you're just curious, go get your blood tested. Um, I actually, I will link below a, a blood test that I use when I get my blood tested and uh, you can do it straight from home, send it in, they'll give you your results. And then if you're deficient for some reason, then you can um, you know, take that up with your doctor and find out what you need or you know, get some supplements there. Uh, again, maybe up your uh, chia seed, flax seeds, walnuts. I mean, it doesn't take much. You can put a, a, a tablespoon, a half a tablespoon or a full tablespoon of flax seed or chia seed in a morning smoothie and oatmeal, uh, throw it on a salad, uh, a handful of walnuts per day. I mean, there's it's it's pretty easy to get your uh, your omega threes. You don't have to eat fish to do that. But let's let's go back on to see what else she has to say here. If you kind of look at the part that frontal lobe that kind of tells you you know yes or no or stops you from making a bad choice. Mine gets a little sleepy sometimes when I'm not doing, especially when it comes to the diet. When my diet isn't you know it's it's it's, it's annoying because I do like to. One, I'm country, so I like to eat bad food. I, I had never, my mom used to get mad if I would tell her I don't want butter. Like my. So she's basically saying that she was eating bad food. I think that's what she's saying. But again, like, I mean, she probably got access to some of the best uh, nutritionists, dietitians, uh, doctors that could easily say, hey, look, I'm a vegan and I want to be able to make sure I'm getting everything I need. I'll pay you and you do that for me. Uh, but it really is mind boggling to see so many people, like the reason why the, the excuse they give for not being vegan anymore is, oh, you know, I just didn't feel right and I had to go eat fish. I'm sorry, but there's nothing in fish that is gonna like make you feel, it's just not a cure-all that you can't find in plants. My mom is butter's like, great for yeah, you. now I'm fine. And Joe just said butter's great for you. Yeah, I guess if you want a heart attack and a stroke and obesity and cancer. Yeah. But I just remember growing up, I, my mom, you know, we, we ate frozen waffles and all that. We don't know anything <laughs> about nutrition. I, right. I grew up on. So she just said she doesn't know anything about nutrition. So instead of seeking out somebody, uh, an expert that could help her, she went straight to the fish that country diet and so I learned a lot I honestly I mark a lot of uh... but a lot of people aren't going to read between the lines here a lot of people are just going to say well you know like I don't know if you want to go vegan or not uh, Miley Cyrus did it and um, it started to mess with her brain and that's basically the message she's giving here and a lot of people are talking about it my I guess kind of like my grounding in the weight that I have to my diet to my supplementing to my my maintenance to the diligence to the sport that being an entertainer is it is a sport it sounds more like a lack of uh, of supplementing the right things that she needs yeah yeah it do, is are you the boss yes I'm the boss you're the boss I'm the boss do you have a mentor do you have someone that you can consult with when it is weird I send faxes back and forth to Dolly Parton because that's how she So I think what he's saying there is do you have somebody to consult with if you know you're the boss you're calling the shots are you trying to find the answer before you just go to a solution like you know I, I know I know Joe Rogan's not vegan but he asks a little you know he asks good questions there and uh, these are questions that you know I, I'm wondering myself did you did she consult with anyone that said ah uh, yeah you can't do it I have a lot of physical pain, to be yeah. honest with you, um, and that's something I'm working on and trying to figure out too. And that had a lot. You got physical pain. Like physical what kind pain. Of physical my pain? hips like really, really hurt me, and hips. my hips drive me crazy. Like From what? if I fly, I think I don't know. Maybe it's just the. Do you stretch? I do stretch. Yeah. I'm actually overly flexible. I'm like kind of double jointed everywhere. It sounds like right there she was about to say something with diet with veganism again but then she goes on to say this i could be wrong but let's see what she says mm. um and so i have a lot of like shoulder like my shoulder will just slip out 
What? All the time. Like, it kind of just does weird things, and my arms twist in weird directions. Are you physically strong? Physically strong? I think yeah. I'm pretty strong. I've been stronger. I've been stronger. Maybe it's like a muscle thing. Maybe you need to exercise, um, like but I, weight lift. I, I really, really loved lifting. And um, You see the way she said that? He said, maybe you should weight lift. And she said, she doesn't say, yeah, maybe I should do that, or maybe I should do that again. She just kind of, like, nervously says, I really loved doing what she probably what she used to do that she doesn't do anymore so maybe joe is on to something there and she's just not coming clean with it she, I, I still think that she's about to say something that veganism had something to do with this so let's let's keep going doing all my weight training my resistance and then the kind of the veganism i was kind of trying to i think I'm Yep, yep, she really wanted to say that. I'm really kind of building myself back up to realize what works. So I'm actually right now in a very experimental period. It's actually fun to talk about with you because I know that you kind of have probably some good suggestions on that. But I'm experimenting a lot with, like, my diet and my body and my routine and my exercise right now. Um, be Meaning she's trying lots of other things that aren't vegan. Because, I mean, kind of like, you know, Leaving veganism and, and is it really terrifying. Like you said, the public kind of will destroy you for that. And, How long were you vegan? Uh, since tw I was vegan from 2013 till 2019. So in 2019, what was the first thing that you ate? Uh, my my ex-husband cooked me, cooked me some fish on the grill. Well, that was also um, kind of disappointing because uh, her husband, Liam, was the one that got her to go vegan in the first place. And then he said... Instead of looking into some uh, vegan doctor advice or anything, he, he stopped being vegan because he got some kidney stones, which he could have done something different and eaten some you know different foods and stayed vegan, but that, that didn't happen. So I just want to clarify the reason why the public really will go after you when you're not vegan anymore. And the reason for that being is, you know, when somebody... I was really rooting for, for Miley myself. Like when I found out that she was a vegan, I never really looked too much at Miley Cyrus before. Like I was at the age where like I was, I, you know, I never saw Hannah Montana when it came out cause I was, you know, I, I was too old. I wasn't watching, uh, you know, those shows back then. And uh, I, you know, I heard some of her music, but only on the radio. And then I found out she went vegan and I was like, wow, that's awesome. I followed her on Instagram. And when you find out somebody like that is no longer vegan, like the message, you know, like as vegans, we're advocating for the ethical treatment of animals. And when you're not vegan, you're going against that. You're, the animals are your victim. And these animals are dying and suffering because of not, nothing less than, you know, your choices. And if you don't need to make these choices, then why are you making these choices? And uh, I think Miley knows this. Um, did you, I cried like for a long time. For the fish? I cried for the fish, and I those little f they and don't I, take care of their kids. Listen, I have some videos on my <laughs> phone of my fish at home. I have a blowfish that runs to the side of the tank every time I come home, so it really hurts me to eat. Because it so she's saying this, like she seems to have like a lot of emotion, saying she has so much sympathy and and connection with her fish. Uh, and I and I went through some. This is a really long interview. It's about two hours. So it's a little bit over two hours, and there's another part where she says that she saves a bunch of chickens with her dad years ago. So, like, her heart's in the right place, but, like, does she realize that her decisions now are not only, like, uh, creating, you know, victims for, you know, her own choices, but she's got millions of people following her. And, you know, the reason why I even do these videos is because of people that, might be very curious to go vegan and then they stumble upon this or maybe their friend says no you know you don't want to go vegan did you hear what happened to miley cyrus and they're like no what happened to miley and then she's they're like well you know she was vegan for like six years and um uh, her brain started going and so she started eating fish again and she was good and it's like oh yeah i don't want that to happen to me so this is why i do these videos and i'm trying to teach people that if you if you feel like you might have a deficiency don't go okay i'm going to start eating animals now look at you know be smart about it go and get an opinion go get uh your blood tested see if you are in fact deficient which very well could be the case if you are start eating different foods they're out there maybe you're not eating the right foods in the first place so, so you're going to feed it 
And I do every time. Yeah, that's it. But um, so that's what I had, and it was because of a hip pain. I had uh, actually going to we were flying to I think Poland or something on a tour that I was on, and I started sobbing, crying on the plane because I couldn't sit any longer because my hips were hurting so bad. So this was pre and laying on the floor. Wait a minute. So she's saying she had hip pain because she wasn't eating fish, or because she was vegan, she had hip pain. Like, do you know how crazy that sounds? I think that's what she just said. Pre quitting gluten? Now I'm back on gluten. So now you're that back was a, the, I did a trial period of 18 of, of like kind of removing things because I think when you try all these different diets, like, okay, now I'm going to try keto, now I'm going to try vegan, mm -hmm. now I'm going to try this, you're doing it at such a kind of, it's really hard to know Drastic. what's affecting you. Right. Um, so I tried to go slowly, like, okay, it, it takes a freaking long time but going through and going i'm gonna eliminate this now right. and then i'm gonna put it back yeah. and see how i feel my body when i am supplementing especially with the omegas like the omegas have really changed my life for me i think again you know you kind of you kind of refer to me as something like a car and i think that we are kind of like a car and i was like so dry from having none of these healthy fats in my diet mm -hmm. i did what i could with like as many freaking avocados a day as i it's could have things but it's hard to get the fat yeah. I'm sure she has enough money to get a vegan nutritionist. Again, like, I mean, walnuts, chia, flax, um, a gal oil. These are all things. I mean, she's got enough money to buy. I mean, I have some down in my refrigerator now. It's in a peanut butter paste. You can just squirt it right in your smoothie. Um, DHA, uh, your, all your omegas you need, and a great taste, too. It's not as bioavailable. And when you your look brain is, you know, like your that. brain really needs those fats. And, you know, it was really, really hard. I'm not sure what he's trying to say about that not being bioavailable. Uh, the ALA is something that is found primarily in plants. And that's the essential one that you need that your body doesn't make. Your body makes the other one. So hard for me. Fish oil is the way to go. Yep. I know people don't like it and they don't like the idea behind it. If, But God damn it, it's so good for your brain. Yeah. I love... Uh, I Where do you think the fish get the omegas in the first place? They get it from the plants. I do kind of like the fish egg vital choice mm -hmm. also. because That I, sounds great. I love vital Fish choice. egg's the way to go. That's what I do. Yeah, I mean that's it's the really best way to get your so, omegas. It's so yeah. much. Now well, it's an inflammation I, issue then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think in general my brain like you're saying is kind of on fire. It is inflamed. Yeah. I think in general I'm inflamed. Okay, we're almost done here. Let's see what she's about to say right here. Oh, I, I'm willing to look at myself from a human level and also look at like what my body needs to thrive. And I know that it can't be cocaine for me and I know <laughs> that it can't be alcohol yeah. and I know that unfortunately I love fish, but at this point I gotta eat it to be able to have my brain to work as quickly as you and I are going right now or what I- If you can't think like that, you don't know, you can't have your conversations with somebody else and be able to recall things and be bright and uh, responsive that you, you need to eat fish. And we all know that that's not the case. And if she, what, like, again, uh, I'm just repeating myself over and over. If she, if she felt that way that she had, she has the resources to get the, you know, the right information from the right people. And there are vegan doctors out there that would have loved to help her. And I'm sure there's probably going to be vegan doctors that are going to be posting on this very incident. I understand myself from a human. There's nothing about me that thinks I am superhuman. And I think that. And that's really all she has to say about veganism in that interview. Again, the interview is over two hours long. It's over in the Joe Rogan experience if you want to go over there and check it out for yourself. What I did notice is she didn't really say anything too explicitly about Omega supplement while she was a vegan. She talks about eating so many avocados which are you know high in uh, fatty acids but she doesn't talk about the things that really give you your omega-3s like the flax seed the chia seed um, any agel or walnuts even and i know that joe said something about flax seed and she didn't she didn't mention it when he said it she didn't react to it or anything she just kept talking so it makes me wonder if she actually was not eating foods that had omegas in it in the first place, if she wasn't eating fortified foods, if she was trying to go like the whole healthy food way, but not taking the, the certain foods that were um, supplying her with omegas, then that could be a reason why she was deficient. And then she was blaming it on veganism when in fact, you know, way back from the beginning of the interview when Joe says, are you doing this intelligently? And uh, it sounds to me like she was lacking uh, the, the omegas. She might have been eating healthy, but she wasn't eating uh, a, enough variety of food that had everything that she needed. And, she, you know, she very well could have been 
uh, deficient. They, the other thing, she doesn't say anything about going to any doctors or getting her blood tested or finding out for sure that she was deficient. And she does mention that she's the boss and everything. So, you know, maybe she was trying to like grasp onto control of the whole thing and just try to um, figure this out herself without going to a doctor. And she talks about how she's trying to figure out, you know, what things work for her by doing like the you know, the trial and error, like what foods to take out and which ones to, you know, slowly bring back into the diet. You know, it's very well that she never even consulted a physician or a nutritionist or anything like that. So I just think it's, um, it's unfortunate. And I think it's, and I think it's irresponsible for people to, you know, to blame these things on veganism when, you know, they're probably not doing it right in the first place. And when I say right, there is no real right way to do veganis veganism it, other than, you know, not harming animals so like veganism isn't uh, about health veganism is about the animals and um you know one of the benefits that most vegans have is you know they, they their health usually improves once they go vegan but again you can be you know a soda and potato chip vegan and be very unhealthy but the good thing about it is you can be extremely healthy as a vegan as well everything is out there that you need to be healthy and that's the perspective that I'm looking at it as far as Miley Cyrus goes so that's really all I have to say about this and um, if you guys have anything to add let me know in the comments below share this thumbs up subscribe survive watch out for zombies and I'll see you guys next time